So I recorded this video a minute ago, but welcome to my channel, BNC Reborns. Here you're looking at the inside of a doll's head, and I want to show how. So I wanted to cut in at this moment and say thank you all for watching. And please, this is only my opinion of how I do it. Everybody does it different, but this is only just explaining how I do it. And please wear gloves and please be careful with the glue. Thank you. How to seal your dog, reborn doll's hair on the inside of the head um, with E6000 glue. That's the glue I use. Um, what I did, because when I, the reason I want to share this is because when I first started painting, you know, I'm still a beginner artist, but when I first started to uh, experiment with painting reborn dolls, I asked around of several different artists, artists, artists with plural, more than one, about how to seal inside, how do they seal the glue inside of the doll's head. And I could never get a straightforward answer. So I just used my common sense and I just did it the best way that I saw fit. But you see here now you're looking inside the doll's head and I just um, open up a tube of E6000. Um, I usually can do about two, two small heads with one tube of three ounce E6000. Um, but if it's a bigger doll, you're going to need more glue, especially if the doll has longer, thicker hair. I try to double seal it because so the mommy, the mommy wants to comb the hair and style the hair. But here you can see, um, the eye sockets in the hair where I've gone in and I've, um, squeezed the glue in. And then I take, I take. And don't mind it because it is dirty now because I've been using it. But I take this part of a, like a plastic cone, comb, or sometimes I use a, a paint spatula. And I go on the inside and I try to spread that glue while it's still um, soft. And I try to spread it all over the head on the inside to make sure that the hair is sealed so it won't come out. Um... It is another way to seal the eyelashes because you really can't get to them after the eyeballs are in. But you want to do that for the eyelashes before you pop the eyes in. Go in and seal them down. And while the eye the eyeballs are still out, that's when you want to go in and do your eyebrows because it's hard to get to the eyebrows um, once the eye, eye buttons are in there. But... I take the glue, I squeeze the glue, and then I take something, whatever you have, and I spread it, spread it, spread it um, all over the head to try to make sure I get all the hair. Sometimes I do that two times. It just depends on the doll. But I wanted to show this and share it um, so that you can know. How to do it if you're looking to do it or if you have a doll that the hair is coming out and you want to know how can I get that glue how can I seal that hair but see you can see here which this is not a good spatula to use but you want to get it so you can move spread that glue around in the inside of the head but this is one of my doll show um, Reborns that I created for the doll show, which is next week. I'm still trying to prepare. Time snuck up on me, and I hadn't had a whole lot of time to prepare, but I'm trying to finish up now. But you can see here, too, where I need to go and add some more hair straight down. It's a good way to see where you're missing hair, because you don't want any bald spots or any spots where the hair didn't come through all the way see now i know that i need to go look in this area and this area in her head to make sure and put some hair there but <clears throat> you can see here i try to spread it glue even in the back um i did run out of e6000 but i have some more coming tomorrow and i'm gonna 
use another tube and get the back again and let her sit up for like a day or so to make sure it dries and when you're doing this also down to time if you're going to put a magnet in your doll for a pacifier what i do is i stick the magnet on there and then um i put the the passy or the magnet on the outside and i adjust it where i want it to be on the mouth and then i glue and then i glue the magnet down where i want it um she's got an open mouth so i don't think i'm gonna i probably just use a modified pacifier on her but yeah that's how i'm going that's how you do it and let me show you a doll that i've already sealed and she's drying let's see okay here's a good example of one that's <clears throat> wet and she's but i did get the glue all over pretty good but when my other e6000 come i'll go in and i'll get the back some more and make sure that hair is down in the back and then let me show you one more this is a big head and she's got a lot of hair so but then you want to make sure that the hair is not in the way because it is messy but it's easy i kind of just when the glue gets around there like that i kind of just roll it off like like at the bottom not on the paint but this part is not painted but it's easy to clean up right there but just try not to make sure you get it on the doll or the doll's hair but this is another one that's sealed i sealed her eyes in i sealed her hair all over and it's wet it's still wet you see it's pretty shiny and then she has a lot of hair but <clears throat> i'll go in and i'll i might reseal her again tomorrow also but thank you please like and subscribe and hit the post notification bell so i can let you know when i'm doing more videos thank you bye